Oh god. Oh god, this is a long No, there's so many lives over there. How are you gonna taunt me like that? Stay away from me. I don't like No! Oh my god, it charges you. Picks up it picks up fucking speed. Okay, new problem. Got him. Oh no, don't don't aim over there right now. You're gonna get me in trouble, game. Ooh. On brand food plus 500. Whoa, you eat the glam burger. The audience loves the brand. Your HP is maxed out. Sweet. Oh, you're gonna be obnoxious, aren't you? One of these, one of these ever replenishing ones. I just want out. I just want out. There we go. Dick. Oh, this thing uses circuits. It doesn't use. Okay, shit. Cancel. My bad. Quote unquote easy mode. Fuck me. That's satisfying. All right, let's. Happy thoughts with magical radios and extra dimensional beings that make you commit suicide, but then re-undo it so you can commit suicide again. What's well, wrong? Why are you stressed? I don't know how to reach that place. Oh no. Why am I standing here making an audio lock? I don't have time for this. Leave me alone. Yes. All right, a new month means a new vote for Patreon. So what are you guys gonna have me play this month? Let's find out. RTS. Okay. Okay. You guys might learn to regret this one. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I, this is a genre I've generally avoided because I didn't want to deal with people talking mad shit about my micro. <laughs> uh, I've played RTSs a bit, and I've, through osmosis, gathered certain information about how to play some games in general. Wow, does, it, does that say 312 weeks ago? Is that, does that, is that six years ago? That's what that means, right? Like, 2010? Whoa. Anyway, uh, so I first played an RTS in the form of Age of Empires 2, The Age of Kings on PC when I was about nine years old, and went on to also play a fair amount of, uh, StarCraft 1 with my brother on the Nintendo 64. And some of you are laughing, but that's a real thing that actually existed. That you could play StarCraft, the original one, uh, with a controller. And not even just any controller, but one of the worst controllers ever created. The one for the Nintendo 64. With C buttons and everything. And it had split screen. Split screen multiplayer of an RTS on a video game console with that nightmare controller. And, uh, you had to put the little red expansion pack into the console to make it run properly, which doubled the game's monstrous- It doubled the console's monstrous amount of RAM from 8 megabytes to 16 megabytes. woo <laughs> So, this month we'll be playing StarCraft II Wings of Liberty? Whatever the human one's called. I forget what the human one's called. Uh, this- this is bound to be an experience. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of very experienced RTS players very mad at me very soon. <laughs> Let's get started. They say a man never really knows himself. Until his freedom's been taken away. I wonder... How well do you know yourself? Prisoners, step forward onto the platform. Thank you. 
Forces are prepared and awaiting your orders, Commander. Uploading tactical data now. Good. About time we kick this revolution into overdrive. Backwater Station is the center of Dominion Logistics on Masara. Destroying Dominion Authority here will cripple Emperor Menk's operations throughout the planet. There's definitely something really surreal about watching hyper close-ups happen on characters in an RTS where of course we know they're gonna look a whole lot more like that bottom corner character if they're ever on camera during the actual gameplay just because of the sheer lack of detail. It was really cool seeing that marine gang like set up there. You have to really trust those machines if you're gonna allow them to literally weld things that are on your body. That's terrifying. But there's so many cool little details thought up about how little parts of the armor work, and that's kind of fun to watch in real time. At the same time, though, really strange watching somebody straight up shoot a television, of all things. It's actually kind of funny, I worked at Best Buy when this game came out, and... 
that was a horrible experience, but also I got I had the, I had the experience of dealing with the uh, the launch of this game, and man, there was a lot of people. I remember that more than the game at this point. I think actually, of, as odd as that sounds, we're playing on normal, because I I would never lower myself to play on casual, but also hard specifically says on the main menu like if you play on this you better fucking no starcraft or we're gonna ruin you and brutal is literally called brutal um we just <laughs> let's be realistic here adjutant what do you got for me dominion forces have set up a logistics headquarters in the town of backwater station this has become the hub for all operations on marsara the Dominion recently pulled troops out of the city, and they are now under strength. Are the locals cooperating? The people of Backwater Station are known to be anti-Dominion, but they lack weapons and organization. If I can take that headquarters away from Mengsk, it'll cripple him on this planet. Prep my ship. All right, boys. Let's show the locals they don't need to fear the Dominion. Commander, there are tutorial videos awaiting your review. Nah, I got this, bro. Don't worry about it. I'll be fine. I'm so doomed. Uh, gonna visit Sound. Whoa, that's what's going on here. There we go. You guys probably won't notice that because I'm sure because I edit audio, but I was not hearing game, and I was really wondering why that was. Okay, there's the game audio. What a cool animation, by the way, on the AI character. She moves like a mannequin. Where she like. It's not that she's just a machine and fake looking. Uh, not, not mannequin, sorry. She looks like an animatronic from like Chuck E. Cheese's and stuff like that. Like, she has that very specific wobble where every time she moves, the motion goes a little too far and kind of restrains itself and bounces back a little bit. Like she's on a series of hinges that are, aren't super well put together because she's just there to serve a purpose as opposed, to, as opposed to being super specifically useful. Oh goodness me. Uh. I understand what camera control is. I understand unit movement. I understand attacking. I think I'll avoid. I know. I, mo I generally know what StarCraft is, and generally know what RTSs are. I'm. I have to learn all the hotkeys, obviously. Keep your intervals wide, your eyes open, and your ass is covered. Let's move. Sounds like a plan. Raiders roll. Time to man up. You Puppy. Oh Raiders wow. Roll. So he just said stuff, and then I was I was clicking around and hearing voices. Totally found myself thinking that he, that he was still talking. I'm like, why is he just repeating himself, saying he's gonna go over and over again? Don't go up that road, they say. All right. Here's a minor thing. Can I turn down the constant barking? The sound, voices, response sounds. When you order select, there we go. Just gonna go ahead and calm that down. As somebody who's getting who's used to listening to dialogue, it's actually really distract. There we go. You can count on me. Count on me. There we go. You can count on me. That's that's too much for me. Rainer. Kill him. You're about to see some low quality RTS play. If you cringed at my factorial playthrough and lack of optimization, holy shit. <laughs> Keep a close watch on your neighbors. Descent will only slow our progress. Commander, destroying the Dominion holoboards will help incite rebellion against the Dominion. I'm getting mighty tired of seeing Meg's face. Blast it! Also, kill that cow! Oh, you can't target him? I could probably shoot ground? Or I could hit attack directly on him, huh? Nope. Never mind. Oh right, if you hit if you hit attack and send somebody somewhere, that means that they uh they'll attack everybody on their path to that location, I believe. Is how RTSs tend to work. Oh, the I'm up against the wall. Is everyone? Well, there's a dead person and a live person. Now there's two dead people. Might surprise you. My neighbors. My family. This is starting to look ugly. Commander, a large Dominion force is gathering in the center of town. 
Then it's time to call in that special delivery we talked about. Well, they're all dying now. Thanks for the assist. We're with you, Rainer. Work hard. Stand proud. We must all sacrifice for the glory of the Dominion. Are you sacrificing your hollow board? How about that? Find them all, destroy them all. Oh, we have a side objective for killing six of them. Bye! So I think I want to use an attack in general directions to try to get a more even distribution of shots in some cases, because it's probably a little wasteful to have them, uh... Ha have, ev have everybody stopping to attack. What am I trying to say? Like, having, ha ha clicking on one guy individually, I think, is actually a bad way to handle this, if I remember correctly. This is bad. Yeah, order selected units to move to the target uh, point. Fighting nearby enemies along the way, target targeting a unit with attack commands orders that it will be attacked until it's destroyed. But I think if I hit attack on the ground, like that, then it'll attack everything along the way, every enemy and every everything else along the way, including buildings, perhaps? I'll, I'll try using the attack command past a hologram when I see another one. Finally, there's the locals. You'll all be given a meal when you reach the dig site. My brother went off to the mine last week. He disappeared. We got a runner. They're shooting civilians. Move in. Well, they're enslaving human beings. Fun. Let's try this now, though. So we'll, cl we'll click attack in that general direction. There we go. That's a that's a battlefront happening. That's way better. Okay. Oh yeah, and it's also automatically attacking the vehicle. Minx has a lot to pay for. Thank you, Raider. We knew you wouldn't forget us. There's more people still being held up ahead. I'll see to them. This game's got that classic Deus Ex Human Revolution issue where the main character has a super animated face and everybody else looks kind of like shit. And it zooms on them and they talk and then they have like these sad waxy faces by comparison. So I think because the hol hologram is a neutral building, it probably doesn't work the Marshall same way. Marshall Rainer. Been a while since we saw you around here. We're with you, Raiders! Oh. Now all the locals are coming with us. We're inciting a riot. What could go wrong? This is a restricted area. You insurgents are under arrest. We got your back, Raider. Oh, look at that. They actually turned to stop the sign. I should probably regroup the crew a little bit. Oh, that's gonna be bad. That's gonna be bad. Oh, <laughs> That moment when you expect a dropship and what you get instead is a mech that can turn into a plane. <laughs> and there we go. I didn't think we could fight them, but we can. Now you've got the weapons and the resources to do it. Remember, Minx can only control you if you let him. Huh. Weirdly brief mission. Honestly, though, it, like it, yeah, it's like playing uh, the, those intro missions of games like Dawn of like Dawn of War Two and stuff like that. Or it's like you're just you don't have a base, so you're just gonna run across the line and shoot everything and automatically win more or less. But the next one, we'll see how that goes. Oh, it's Kerrigan. I know virtually nothing about her. I know she was sacrificed. And now she's the leader of the Zerg. Or something along those lines? Kind of Forsaken-like in that way?
man in the sector. You ain't that hard to find. I had to see it for myself. Little Jimmy Rayner, the people's hero. <laughs> Tigus Finley. <laughs> nice suit. Pays to be prepared. I heard they put you on ice. Live sentence. What? To give you time off for good behavior? That's right, old buddy. I'm a model citizen now. <laughs> so to what do I owe the pleasure? Just a friendly business proposition. Do you even know what the Dominion are doing out here? I'm guessing you're about to tell me. Digging up alien artifacts, old buddy. Your boy Minsk has gone crazy for him. But I got a contact that'll pay top dollar for every artifact we liberate from the Dominion. I guess I can hardly pass that up now, can I, Tigus? Partners, then. 60-40. 70-30. My way. Feels like old times already. Old times. Hi there, quirky sort of hub world in between missions screen. Sarah. Sometimes. I think it would have been better if you just died that day. Probably, considering that she's like a horrible nightmare monster now. Although I don't know what happened in the following story. There's been so many games this now. This looks recent. This you're doing, Jimmy? Folks in these parts are ready to fight back against Max. Guess they just needed a little push. You still take this whole revolution thing pretty serious, then? Everyone needs a hobby, Tychus. I imagine there's a whole lot of story between the three parts of StarCraft 2. To the point where StarCraft 1 story is probably the minority as far as the just quantity of writing goes. This is Donnie Vermillion, live from the UNN Studios on Core Hall. We've got a breaking story for you. Let's go live to our own Kate Lockwell on the fringe world of Marsara. Kate? Thanks, Donnie. Rebel Jim Rayner has reappeared in a big way. He's attacked a Dominion Depot near Backwater Station, seizing weapons and distributing them to the local populace. Kate, I bet the locals are pretty nervous about having a notorious outlaw in their neighborhood. Actually, Donnie, the people I talked to seemed really encouraged oh, thanks, by Kate. the... You heard it here first. Jim Rayner, terrorizing the locals on Marsara. When we return, are your kids using stim packs? <laughs> Keep talking, pal. I'm just getting started. That is a straight up, like, Fallout style, like, parody version of media. That's great. As if the public wouldn't be immediately aware of how blatantly he's just covering up a certain narrative by literally talking over it. In this case, probably don't need any of those tutorials about how to navigate this screen. Call me curious, but how'd you get out? Well,. I busted out of my cryo-freezer while they were transporting me to New Folsom. Oh, I must have killed at least a dozen guards with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, I've heard this one before. But you left out the part where you walked on water, and made off with the warden's daughter. Don't you get uppity with me, boy. I heard all about you becoming a big-time freedom fighter while I was away. What happened, Jimmy? The war for truth and justice get too much for you. I ain't licked yet, Tychus. And I promise you, Minsk is going down, one way or another. Jesus Christ, Tychus, you have a comically textured voice. 
How is it even possible? Thanks to your actions, Masara is now in a state of open revolt against Arturus Minsk. Ex-convict Tychus Findlay has revealed the Dominion came to Marsara to excavate an alien artifact. Seizing the artifact will strike another blow against the Dominion and generate funds from selling it to Findlay's mysterious contacts. Alright, let's get going then. We have a medic, support trooper, heals nearby units. Are they just trying to teach me each unit one by one, I assume? Last, because I, I doubt my, uh, my entire army is going to be medics, that'd be weird. This old outpost don't look like anything special. Keep your shirt on, son. The meaning engineer's been digging out here for months. See that crane? They're getting ready to move the artifact they found off-world. Well, I'll be damned. See? You gotta have a little more faith, Jimmy. All right. Time to give the Dominion a wake-up call. Let's smash that base and haul that baby out of there. I'm... What are we doing here? Destroy the Dominion base. I remember the first time I ever played Age of Empires 2 online, I felt like a... Commander, additional tutorials are available for you to review. What are you doing? You've already chosen the wrong we ratio need a lot of Marines people. We take on the Dominion outpost. <laughs> Train them up at the barracks. While we're at it, extra SCVs will help us harvest minerals faster. Train them up at the command center. There we go. That makes more sense. Get that vest bean going. If you forget, I forgot at first. You have to actually do it separately. You probably want more workers just in general. Yeah. Just get that going. Get those minerals. I remember the first time that I ever played uh, Age of Empires 2 online. What happened is that I uh, fucking... I, I, I had played the entire campaign as a kid. Learned all that stuff about like Joan of Arc getting shot in the leg by an arrow and bullshit like that. And all this stuff that happened. Blah, blah, blah. Freaking... I get that far in the game and find out that, oh, oh great. Um, play online. Go into Stone Age of all things. Like, yeah, I went from the Dark Age to the Stone Age. Get immediately crushed by an entire army of cavalry from the Imperial Age, which is the fourth fourth age of the game. And that was when I learned that the uh, competitive online experience is an entirely different game from what I had been playing up to that point. You're, pr I don't know if you're dangerous. Let's just get rid of you. Oh, I can't. Okay, or I probably could if I selected it manually. But the fact that they're not getting attacked immediately is probably a good sign. I always got a kick out of doing these. Let's do a patrol! Yeah. That always felt neat. Lab tech. Additional construction options. We're safe enough right now, I might as well just get started on that kind of stuff. So we'll be doing some basic introduction to how some of the, uh... base building works here, so I want to get somewhat, uh... accustomed to what some of the options are. Oh, right, you have limited... Yeah, living units to cost supply. Build supply depots to increase supply. So I need to build... Get building on supply depots to even be able to build more units. We must construct additional pylons. Add on complete. Supply depots cost a hundred. There we go. Let's put you over here in a corner. There's gonna be so many points of criticism here between the uh, <laughs> the micro and the base management. And I, is the camera always this close? Maybe it's just me, but the the camera feels weirdly close to the action right now. I wonder if there's an option. I uh, keep trying to hit escape, but escape does not open the menu, apparently. I wonder, is there like a... It's game speeds, colorblind mode. I don't see sliders about camera heights. Not really, no. Interesting. <laughs> Everything's on super extreme and ultra settings because the, uh... This game was made in 2010, so my the defaults for my graphics card are like, Well, fuck! Get infinite graphics! What if you had graphics forever? <laughs> uh... It's, it's, it's gonna be an interesting time. Let's just start building a bunch of supply depots so I can keep building more units. There we go. That's the only way into the base right now, and I, I doubt the enemy has complicated and interesting, interesting strategies in the first real mission. So... Just keeping an eye on our main gate is probably the best I can do. 
You're not attacking me, are you? You're just kind of hanging out? I assume. Oops. So BS is the supply depot hotkey. Probably want to get that down. We don't need a refinery. Don't need a command center. Don't need a barracks necessarily unless I want to build units faster. But so far, not heavy on the unit usage anyway. Are you guys all one type of unit? Yes, you are. Uh, let's build a... Let's build a medic. Let's try to diversify a little bit there. Uh, right now the number of... I think that's might be maybe why it says workers 3 out of 3. Uh, the Vespian gas seems to be ideal in its number of workers because they're, uh... Yeah, they're getting to it right in time for the next person to leave each time. So there's no one's waiting in line. So I think only one person can be physically inside the, uh... Vespian gas place at once. So you're looking at two people here. There's actually three workers. And that's because the guy that's leaving is actually the guy coming out of here, and then the person goes in instantly. So it looks like two people are going back and forth, but there's actually a third person. And they're, they're all, each one of them spending a period in time. It's giving you the illusion of there being only two because of the fact that there's the exact right number of them right now. Let's just get building again. I guess we only get crystals so fast, so I might as well just send the other guy right back to the... We keep getting more crystals for now. Can only build these depots so fast. Because I'll run out of resources from building the uh, actual SVCs. Which actually seem to train... Su they, they train surprisingly slowly, don't they? Huh. For some reason I thought they'd go a little faster. There you are. They spend energy to heal, and they... I think they start off with zero energy, or some, or at least a, a low amount, and they slowly get more over time. Alright. It is, admittedly, slightly tempting to build another command center just to make this part go faster. Interestingly, you can only queue up five things at once. Let's check the, uh, hotkeys. Are you con is it- can I set you to control one? There we go. So if I hit one, now it goes to the command center. That's good to know. I'll set you guys to control two. There we go, so I have a command center, and I have the guy that's building depots. It gives me a bit more to do. Set you guys to control three. And I'll set you to send people directly to the medic. We're gonna send a couple more medics, and then some more soldiers. And we'll just send you guys out. Just to start scouting and looking around the environment. Since the other things I'm doing right now are kind of time consuming, and we'll, we're just gonna be stuck waiting at some point. Hello, free resource caches. Are you done with what you're doing? Yeah, you are. So, BS. I don't think I can queue up multiple things. Let's find out. No, not really. Actually... Ah! Nope, he just goes... He just goes straight to the next one. Never mind. I was hoping that maybe I could queue up multiple ones with the same character. That'd be pretty great. Definitely need more of these guys. You keep making more soldiers. You guys alright? Oh yeah, we they fought a minor amount of enemies. And we have a medic, so their chances are low for success. Hey there. Yeah. I'm always tempted to start making a base, and it's maybe too much base to build. Oh, that's not a... I thought that was Vespian Gas. Some missions are probably going to be drawn out more than they need to be, just because I inherently want to build up a base and, fe and feel a little safe. But, uh, some of these missions you can probably complete with relatively small troops, and I probably end up building it up too much. One game that was actually surprising, surprisingly good training for not overdoing it on that aspect was actually, uh, Age of, em Age of Empires Online. Whoa. Commander, the Dominion is attacking the Rebel base to the southwest. Good. That'll keep the Dominion off our backs. Those folks need our help, Tychus. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. Hello, free allies. Are under attack. I understand that. I was just watching. Right back with them. Hey, guys. How you doing? Oh, hey, teammates. Oh, you guys sure are a welcome sight. But we're with you. Just tell us where you want us. Welcome aboard, boys. Uh... It's Rainer's boys. Rainer's the man. That is an entire new squad. Kick the Dominion's ass. Dominion can go to hell. That definitely jumps you ahead a bit if they can just give you a second base. 
That said, all that's here is... Oh. That said, if, if all that's here is... Like, a tech lab and some nonsense... Huh. Not super important stuff, is it? Let's see. I'll send you back over here for the moment, just because I want you to be blocking anyone that tries to come towards our base. Can I lift you off? Yeah, I can. Oh, you're a barracks. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, uh... Target one of you guys. Let's train some more guys. Right. Let's move out and take it to My him. bad. We've got to clear this area. I'll send you to control four. Wait, can I, can I select both of you guys? I wonder if you can select multiple barracks and queue them up individual individually. Does that work that way? Oh my god, it totally works that way. Okay, good to know. Did not know that. So now I can I can hit I can highlight both barracks at once and tell them both to send troops in. That's pretty cool. Did not know that it would work that way. Send them both towards a medic. That seems like someone slight that's slightly less likely to die. I don't think yeah, Jim Rayner's not a, a unit right now. So that's not gonna matter. Uh BS. Keep you going, even though obviously we have enough. Keep that going. Yeah, when I first saw this guy, I thought that he was a, uh, I thought this was a, a command center, but it's a barracks, so... I was gonna lift it off over here and build workers faster, but that's not relevant, clearly. Alright, that's interesting. So, you are S. And then, in the case of you, I want A and E, for the most part. Okay. Look at me hot king, like some sort of person that pretends to know how to play this game. Yeah. This guy's actually surprisingly close to done, so I should probably just hang out for a moment. Don't think I- I don't think I even have other units to build here. Yeah, the tech lab doesn't have anything... There's nothing else to do right now. Okay. So, let's make you guys zero set. 23 units, that's probably enough. Maybe. Oh, that's a broken bridge. Alright, well. I had to go down here anyway. Good to know. So I'll just keep things building while I go along. And hope things work out. Are you building faster all of a sudden? What happened there? Bad guys are that away. <laughs> Thanks, video game. That was important information. The bad guys are in fact that away. Morning. Dominion Hellions approaching. Dominion Dominion Hellions get fucked. I'm just gonna start attacking the middle of their base, basically. Oh look, it's a barracks. I mean a bunker. There we go. Nice job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. Between your boys and my skills, we are gonna go a long way together. That's a Hellion. Let's take care of that real quick. There we go. Maybe stop their barracks while we're here. I, yeah, I think we're just gonna steamroll them at this point. I probably waited a little too long. They're not even fighting back. <laughs> well, that happens. It's okay, it's a nice tutorial moment to learn what a few buttons do a little better. Uh, yeah, not, <laughs> they don't really have much they're fighting back with. Just the occasional Hellion problem. I have no idea what the right ratio is to go with for, uh, medics versus non-medics, so I'm just kinda... Just kind of going with it. Probably have too many medics actually now. Oh well, everyone's healthy. 80 units is probably too much. <laughs> or one building away from being counted as the enemy destroyed. Nope, every single you, every, every single one has to go down. No witnesses. No witnesses. I, you probably don't have to destroy the supply depot, but all of the Buildings that can create units probably have to go down. Here it comes. Ticking clock. Bye bye. It was nice knowing you. Crane controls accessed. Decrypting security overrides. Crane control established. Beautiful. Now let's wheel that sucker in and get out of here.
This is where I get a D for taking way too long. Ah, oh, 12 minutes is not as long as I thought it took, actually. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut the first episode here, guys. Thanks for watching, like always. And if you want to be part of the vote for the next Patreon game, just head on over to patreon.com slash SebastianSB, the, uh, the Patreon link that's always in the description of the videos, and you can help choose what happens next. I am genuinely unsure each time what's where we're going with these. <laughs> Did not think an RTS was going to be next. Here we go. Thanks for your support, like always, and I'll see you next time.